Good morning, everybody. I just pulled up to Ross's house. It's about 6.45 a.m. And we are going to go pick up his trailer. And we are going to road trip to Delaware to pick up a 1984 Chevy Camaro Berlinetta. Now, I know what you're asking. Is it a Berlinetta Ferrari? Technically, yes. But in this case, it's a luxury trim from Chevy on the Camaro. Um, I use the air quotes because it's still an 80s Camaro. And luxury isn't no it's an 80s Camaro there's nothing luxury about it it's got some cool features which if I pick up and if you're watching this it means I did pick up the car so yeah I'll be going over some features that was uh that were exclusive to the Berlinetta but now I'm just waiting for us because he's a sleepy guy he's not like me he can't function off three hours of sleep and ready to roll the next day because he's human I'm something else there's the sleepy guy. Oh, he's friendly. I thought he'd be a little sassier. Morning, buddy. What up? You still got a fucking hood in the back of your car. Truck thing. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> we're fucking at it. Or are we not? Oh, we're at it. We are at it. Hi, buddy. You all right? What? You wait. I've been up since three. Have you? Yeah. Why? Uh, for some reason, there was kids on a tractor like right outside our driveway yelling. Don't ask me, man. Pennsylvania, bro. Pennsylvania. Yeah. <laughs> Take her down there and get the fuck out of here. He's sassy this morning. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go get the trailer. So we drove all the way to Delaware. Checked the car out, looked it over pretty good, and brought it home. There she is, guys, my 1984 Camaro Berlinetta. Let's go over this thing. So here she is in all of her glory. Um, yeah, she's a little rough, but 40 years old, we can't complain. Now, being that it's a Berlinetta, it's got some exclusive stuff, like the front bumper. It's got the three slots in it, which are functional, so that I thought those were pretty cool. Um, I like the black housing. That's not necessarily exclusive to the Berlinetta, but I do like the aesthetic. I'm really happy that the previous owner put some LED headlights in, and those uh, halos are RGB, controlled by Bluetooth, so that's pretty cool. And then you have the Berlinetta wheels. They've got this gold thing going on. Uh, they've seen better days, so fortunately I can refresh them. But I was looking at them, and the calipers are painted. So that's pretty neat, but then that got me thinking. Are the rear drums painted? Because supposedly only Z28s had rear discs. Well, somebody did a conversion on this car, and I'm okay with that. Not going to complain. Get to the back of the car. And you've got the silver trim around the taillight. It's okay. I got some Z28 ones coming that are blacked out. Uh, I do have the original Berlinetta badge that's supposed to go back there, but it looks a little faded, so I might have a 3D printing friend fix that. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure the internet will, that this spoiler was an add-on for the Berlinettas. So... That's pretty cool. Uh, looking inside, there's no interior, and that's fine. But we're going to jump in. You can see the fabric of the seats. They've got this neat little design on it. And the door cards share that. And something I added as soon as we got to the shop was the steering wheel. It's a MPI Cletus McFarland edition, limited production, all that fun stuff. But I'm sure you can see it's an automatic car, which I'm fine with. But it's got the Starship interior. So what that means is, let me hop in. It's got a digital dash. So the tachometer is digital, speedometer is digital. You have some analog stuff for the oil pressure. Uh, I don't think the fuel gauge works or the temp gauge, but the volts and the oil do. Over here, you've got your headlight and uh, turn signal control. Unfortunately, the turn signal doesn't work. Um, tried to get it to work. Um, I'm going to have to rewire it. 
previous owner put this little switch in here to make up for that not working. And this is actually adjustable, but I like it all the way far back. Same with uh, all of this stuff going on here. This is adjustable. None of this works. None of it at all. Uh, this stuff works, but it works kind of wonky. I need to look into how exactly it works, but I want to get all this fixed. So looking in the engine bay, I noticed that the heater core is not hooked up and it doesn't have anything for air conditioning. I'm getting that back. It's a T-top car. It's going to get hot in here in the winter or summer. Ugh. It's We're going into winter, so I'm dreading that. Another cool feature is this stuff going on. So it's got an overhead center console, a very uh, Starship inspired Knight Rider stuff going on, I guess. Uh, yeah, this is all adjustable. You can, all, all kinds of stuff. It's, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to keep it on celebration trip. Uh, you got this adjustable map light that doesn't work. You've got that map light that doesn't work. So I'm assuming stuff's just not hooked up. But what's kind of cool is this is actually a flashlight. It's stuck in there because somebody put it in upside down. So I'm going to get it out, get a little hook, pull that out. And I want to see if I can convert it to LED because I'm sure uh, 1980s technology for uh, flashlights was garbage. Now, I assume this is a cassette or Coke bag. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I could only imagine you accelerating quickly and stuff flying out. Uh, down here, you've got your power window control trunk release and rear heater oh the button lights up cool uh <laughs> this is not bolted down it's not hard to do that a little dirty in there oh hey i have the screws to put in there cool i don't have to go hunting now um i may put like a wireless charger in there so i can just put my phone down and be done with it now that, that gets me to whether or not I want to turn my phone into a head unit or actually get a head unit for this. So this had like, we'll call it a 1980s tablet. Uh, I, I don't think I have it. I have to go through the box of stuff that came with the car. But it had like a radio and cassette player that was like swivel. It Kind of cool, but I, I don't listen to the radio and I certainly don't own any cassettes. Um... I don't think I've ever owned a cassette in my life. And anybody younger than 25 years old is probably asking, what's a cassette? So, yeah, the, the, it's a time capsule in here, that's for sure. So I'm really excited about this car. Um, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, and somebody's eventually going to point out that I was talking about buying a Corvette eventually. Uh, this was just way cheaper. Uh, running and driving car for 2500 bucks. I was born in the 80s, uh, so growing up, I would see cars like this all the time. The third-gen Camaros are just way cheaper than Fox bodies, too, because I know that question's coming. Why don't you just get a Fox body? Uh, I think the third-gen Camaros are the new up-and-coming car. Um, you know, everybody wasted 240s. They wasted the 36. Uh, yeah, it's not even on my mind. Don't, don't even bring those up. They're just, I don't like them. Uh, same with Fox bodies there. Well, I mean, I like Fox bodies. It's just the, the, the market on them has exploded and a roller, you can't even a de get a decent roller for 2,500 bucks. So I think I did good. I'm happy and we're going to have a lot of fun with this car. So I hope you guys stay tuned and enjoy.